This poster is about how old elastin haploinsufficient mice have impaired memory, motor coordination, and endothelial function. With aging, the large elastic arteries like the aorta and the carotid artery get stiffer, in part due to the breakdown of elastin. Stiffer arteries are a problem because they can't accommodate each pulse of blood coming from the heart. And this leads to bigger spikes in pressure in smaller vessels, like the cerebral arteries, which are not structured to be exposed to high pulse pressure. Previous studies with young mice with large artery stiffness have shown that these mice have decreased cerebrovascular function, and there are multiple studies highlighting the correlation between large artery stiffness and cognitive decline. However, the direct effect of large artery stiffness and age together has not been completely studied. This study looks at old elastin haploinsufficient mice, referred to as old ELN plus minus mice, mice with only one copy of the elastin gene. We compare them to old wild type mice, referred to as old ELN plus plus mice, and young wild type mice, young ELN plus plus mice. Our hypothesis is that old ELN plus minus mice will have decreased cerebrovascular function and cognitive function compared to both of the wild type groups. To test this hypothesis, we ran an accelerating rotor rod test, a test of motor coordination. As seen in figure one, we found that old ELN plus minus mice have impaired motor coordination compared to the two wild type groups because they spent less time on the rod. We also ran the Morris Watermates test, a test for spatial memory. In this test, a tank is filled with water and there's a platform in the tank. Mice want to escape the water, so they should be incentivized to remember where the platform is. In figure two, we can see that old ELN plus minus mice have impaired spatial memory because they had a higher latency to platform area, which means they took longer to reach the platform area the first time. They also crossed the platform area less frequently compared to the wild type groups. These results put together indicate that old ELN plus minus mice have impaired cognitive function. To assess cerebrovascular endothelial function, we studied ex vivo pressurized posterior cerebral arteries. Figure three shows the results of these experiments. Old ELN plus minus mice had significantly lower endothelium dependent vasodilation compared to old ELN plus plus mice, who in turn had lower vasodilation compared to young ELN plus plus mice. When we added L-name, a molecule that inhibits the production of the vasodilator nitric oxide, the maximum vasodilation in all groups decreased. This indicates that an old ELN plus minus mice impaired endothelial function is due to lower bioavailability of nitric oxide. And we know that the impairment is at the level of the endothelium because in figure 3C, which shows the endothelium independent dilation, there are no significant differences between groups. Finally, we assessed neuroinflammation in the entorhinal cortex of the brain. The entorhinal cortex, along with the hippocampus, functions in memory pathways. We studied inflammation by measuring the abundance of microglia, immune cells that cause inflammation. And we did so by analyzing the percent of the entorhinal cortex that is positive for IBA1, a marker for microglia. In figure four, we found that old ELN plus minus mice have a higher percentage of the entorhinal cortex taken up by IBA1 than old ELN plus plus mice, indicating more microglia. So in conclusion, old ELN plus minus mice have impaired cognitive and cerebrovascular function and also have higher levels of inflammation. This indicates that large artery stiffness caused by aging plays an important role in changes to other organs like the brain. I would like to thank the Office of the Vice President for Research and Innovation as well as the Alzheimer's Association for funding this research.